If you guys are interested in learning more about Google Ads, grab my SOPs, click the link down below, go to jasonclarkman.com forward slash free downloads and you can get all my SOPs. I think I've got about 12 here, there's actually more. If you're a business owner and you're interested in learning how to run profitable ads without marketing agencies charging you an arm and leg or your marketing agency looking to really capitalize on advertising, Join my pay-per-click pros. I cover a whole bunch of aspects with regards to launching a profitable campaign on different platforms and generating sweet leads. It also includes a whole bunch of lead generation software where I'll show you guys how to generate that organically. Cool, let's carry on. What is up, Lead Generation Nation? It's Chase McLaughlin here, and today we're gonna to be talking about what does a Google Ads or pay-per-click specialist even do? For you advanced marketers, this is not for you. This is okay. gonna be a basic video that covers, as I just said, the basics of, let's say, what a business owner should be looking at when hiring a Google Ads or pay-per-click specialist. So let's dive into it. First things first, your Google Ads manager or pay-per-click specialist is going to have to always do the research, right? And what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you how. So they would go into a tool like, let's say, Google Keyword Planner, and they would go about finding profitable keywords. Now, this is obviously just the planning tool about it. And they'd go in and see exactly what keywords you are using and what keywords you need to be utilizing and go about that. So this is what they're going to. They're going to Google Keyword Planner and they have the option to, let's say, discover new keywords and get search volumes and forecasts. So for instance, if I click here, let's say I am a tattoo, tattoo shop near me and they would go and find particular areas where this is running from. So it's just very basic. As you can see, this search here gets 1,000 to 10,000 in a specified area, aspects like that. This would be in South Africa. You can change the area here. So they go about finding out exactly what, so if I was in, let's say I was in Texas, right? They would go about finding how many people are searching Tattoo shop near me. Well, it's 100K to 1 million and co cost per click and things like that. So they'll go about doing keyword research like that, right? They would then build your campaigns. So they would go into the Google ads campaign basically and build them out, write the ad copy plus find the keywords and implement. They would then launch the campaign. They basically flick the switch that says, let's go play. Let's go into the market and see how many leads we can get this business owner. They would then go about ensuring these leads and phone calls are, get, are gotten after at a profitable rate. Now, this doesn't always come down to the pay-per-click specialists. There are a lot of other factors like clients' websites, if their landing pages are optimized. Obviously, when you're looking at hiring a pay-per-click specialist or Google Ads, campaign person, they would suggest particular things are done to the landing page in order to con ensure that you have a good conversion rate, right? So a lot of things, as I said, go into play with this. Ensuring leads and phone calls are at a profitable rate also means that for every dollar you spend, you're getting, let's say, two, three dollars out in service fees. So when we go about onboarding clients, we actually ask them, well, how much is your average job, right? How much is the average gig? And then last but not least, they adjust the campaign to stay on track in order to ensure things don't go sideways. Google often will give recommendations and aspects that throw off campaigns and totally butcher accounts. And something that's not in here that I actually wanted to address, they would also go about ensuring that reporting is done each month. So what we do in my agency, we send the clients over a link that's done through Google Data Studio, right? Data Studio. 
And it's basically a link they can click on and they can get all the data, seven pages of data of what's happening, what keywords are getting the hits, et cetera, et cetera. And yeah, that's basically what a Google Ads Manager would do for your company. Awesome guys, so I hope you learned something about this. As I said earlier, if you want, click the link down below to get my free training and free socks. Much love, peace.